Last you say we talk about there's a fading of the upward momentum. The wave to the upside is getting shorter and shorter. We got a up trust, a temporary commitment, followed by a break back in. It means that there is a breakout failure. That's why we also discuss the next support level. If there's a pullback, then I would like to see a pullback to this, which is still very shallow pullback, like 4520, coincide with the middle of the up channel. That is the previous demand zone. There's a demand zone right here. A small demand zone coincide with the middle band of the up channel. Did we get that? There was an attempt to go down on Wednesday. Here is a bar that shows rejection and also close at the low. This is where the bear could grab a upper hand and take the control from there. But did we have a follow through to the downside? No, not really. If we draw a line, let's say here, this is a very short term trading range. It did not break down the range. There's no flow through to the downside. Last Tuesday, we talked about there's increasing of the volume. It's not that threatening. This is where the bear could start attacking. Because on Wednesday, close at a low. And with relatively high volume compared to the past few week sessions, instead of going down, have a breakdown and correction, at least to here, but it did not. Next day, the bar reversed everything. This is where some mean you know, of reversion trader will initiate short position. Although there's no confirmation yet, but this is uh, getting bearish after the close of this bar. This is bearish. At least we anticipate a short term pullback correction, but we have this. On Thursday, it reversed everything. Instead of going down, it go up and the bear has no control at all. That changed everything. This is a failure signal of the bearish side. Instead of going down to test the, the demand zone or the middle part of the upward channels, it did not want to have any correction. This is the signal to turn bullish again. Next day, we have a, a gap, which is the contract rollovers. This is the different contract. On this day, is switch it from the December contract to the, the March contract. That's why we see there's a, a huge gap up. If you look at the December contract, it's not the big gap. So it's inching up a bit uh, like this. If we look at the long-term trend, this is the channel overboard. A channel overboard, channel overboard, and this is going to be the most bullish scenario that we also discussed last Tuesday. Last Tuesday, we talked about a more likely scenario, which is a shallow pullback, tested the middle part of the uh, up channel, and then to reverse go up. The next one is the continuation to the upside with any correction, which should bump into the, the channel overboard. It's very close to the previous all-time high level. Let me put this down. The previous all-time high level is close to 48. We hit about 4808, 4810, very close to 48. It's approaching this channel overboard and together with the previous all time high level, which is likely to happen uh, because this is likely the last run to the upside and to touch the all time high level before we see a, a correction or a pullback or profit taking activity. At this point, there's not much profit taking activity. Or it shows right here is fear of missing out. It means that there are still a lot of the sideway money. They haven't got into this market yet. That's why after this rally propelled by the short covering and also some decent demand right here, after the breakout, there are still quite a lot of the sideline money they need to get in in order to be at least on par with the market rather than underperform. Usually in December, those money manager, portfolio manager will need to make the book looks a bit nicer. We could see some speculative play in December. A lot of them could be from the small cap. Instead of the S&P, small cap is also another team that we need to pay attention to. Especially we have identified some speculative and super strong momentum stock setup, which we're going to uh, discuss that shortly. This is 
overbought, um, no doubt for that. But look at the momentum. It is so strong that each pullback consolidation, whichever you call that, is very shallow. Even if the bear has a chance with uptrust followed by this per hand, it give up because there is not enough aggressive supply push a price down. This momentum to keep charging up until it bump into the channel overboard. That could be one of the scenario, a channel overboard followed by a pullback. After the pullback, it have a test and then eventually go into another strong rally before a meaningful pullback started here. Right now, this is likely going to be bump into the channel overboard together with the horizontal level will be on here about 47.30. That should be derived from here. Let me switch it to weekly. That is the previous swing high level, 47, uh, 20 or 30. That is the first target, uh, which is very close. And then second level will be the all time high level, which previously, uh, created the uptrust here. This is uptrust after distribution, sign of weakness, test, and it started the downtrend. We are very close to the previous swing high together with the uptrust of the distribution high right there. We're going to, to hit that short term momentum direction is still up. There is increase of the volume yesterday. The spread is not that impressive, but still this is a bullish close and we need to see how much supply will come out and how many will profit take because it's very close to the all time high level or the previous swing high level. This is likely the speculative run to end the rally before we see a consolidation. It means that we should see the bump into the overboard and then followed by consolidation, something like this. And it could still hover to the upper part of the channel. This will be very bullish as well. S&P short term, definitely bullish. Long term in terms of the, of the swing, this is still upswing, right? The swing is still up and long term, this is still up channel, low, uh, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low and higher, high. Okay. Long term, medium term swing and short term, medium term is all up. All we need to do is to focus on the setup. The market is bullish and likely to have another leg up to bump into the, the channel board. If you want to catch my latest videos, click on the subscribe button and the bell right now so that you get instant notification once I upload my latest video. If you want to check out my online courses, go to tradeprecise.com to find out how to profit consistently from any market without using complex indicator or understanding any financial statement no matter you are trading or investing.